Well, a boy of 16 has burning ambitions. I was an air cadet. The uh, uh, Air Force had uh, formed an air training corps to provide future air crew personnel. So from the age 16 to 18, I was an air cadet. And come the day when you turn 18, you register straight away. Well, you go into an initial training school, and I think that was six weeks, if I recall, and they belt hell out of you <laughs> to uh, a, a severe, uh, severe disciplinary training so that when someone gives a command, you, you do it. You don't start dithering and wondering. And uh, much intensive formal study and at that stage, there were a, a panel of expert officers who were trained to segregate. They had what they called categorisation. They'd say, oh, you, uh, we think, will make a good navigator. You don't appear to be too hot on mathematics, so we'll make you a gunner or, or whatever, you know. They had to stream you off in what they thought was going to be your future performance. Well, like most boys, you get horribly disappointed because you all want to fly. But you have that moment of truth when they say, we don't think you're going to make a, a particularly good flyer, so we note from your records that you're good at wireless, so we'll make you a wireless operator, you know, so it goes. Well, they made me a wireless operator gunner and uh, I was sent to Ballarat in Victoria. And Ballarat, Victoria decided that uh, I was not very brilliant on radio after all. So they said, well, now we're going to make you a straight gunner. So then I went to gunnery school where you have intensive gunnery training and I shone there. <laughs>